The offset command is probably one of my most used commands. It's extremely useful and it allows me to create a lot of different things, specifically new concentric circles, parallel lines, and parallel curves. And I work a lot in civil engineering, so I do a lot of roadway layout, a lot of lot lines for residential development. And so a lot of these lines are often parallel to each other. And when I do a lot of pipe work, my pipes are often parallel to each other. So the offset command is something that I do every day very often. Now you can use the offset command to offset an object at a very specific distance or through to a very specific point. So let's try it out. Let's open up a file. Let's look at the offset examples file. Now here we have a couple of little examples of some sort of thing that I might do on my day-to-day -day job. Here I have a center line of a road that's been laid out already for me and a couple of lots you know, for buildings, for homes. Also here we have some contour lines, probably for a lake since it's colored blue. Now we can use the offset command to add new contour lines to this pond. First we start by starting the offset command. Type in the word offset or type in the letter O for offset. Or you can go up to the home tab on the ribbon, go to the modify panel, and then go to the offset command. Either way, it starts off the same way. First of all, you want to type in a distance. In this case, I'm going to type in 20. Press return. Now let's select the object to offset. I'm going to zoom in, pan around, and select this line right here. Now when you start this part, after you select the line, it starts right into the offset command. So you can see a little preview of where that new line is going to go. And I'm going to offset this line that I've selected by 20 units, either on the inside or on the outside of the line. Let me zoom in here a little bit closer. You can even see as I move my crosshairs around that I get that little dimension there that AutoCAD is reminding me that, hey, you're offsetting this 20 units. And you get that little preview. Where the new line is going to be created relative to your offset line, the original line, by where you position your mouse according to that original line. So whichever side of the line you put it on, that's where it's going to go. So once you have your cursor in position, left click. And you have created a new line offset at 20 units. So wherever I measure, if I measure an exact perpendicular distance from here to here, I am going to have two perfectly offset parallel lines that are 20 units apart all the way around. And it's actually that simple. So maybe you don't want to offset by a specific distance, but want the new line to pass through a specific point. So let's say you don't know what that distance is. Now you can do a couple of things. You can measure it, you can do the math, whatever it is you need to do, or you can guess, and then you can type in the distance. Well, offset command has an option. So for example, let's scroll up to this little roadway. We have the center line, we have the lot lines. Let's say we want to put a new right-of-way line that parallels the center line, but matches up with the front of these lots. I don't know what that distance is. So I'm going to start the offset command, press return, and you can see here that I have different options. Now these three options allow me to do different things. One is the layer. This way I can offset my new object and put it on a specific layer, which is actually a very nice thing, because a lot of times I don't want it to go to the layer. It's kind of like doing a copy command. You can see here when we did our contour line, it copied that old one. It left it on the same layer. So I'm going to change the layer. Type in L. I can say current or source. So the source is the default setting for their offset command. And the source just means it's going to match the object that you're offsetting. I'm going to switch it to current because currently I'm on the roadway and I'm going to make this a roadway layer. Okay, so now when I create this, it won't be this red center line. It'll be a magenta colored line. And I can also pick an erase button. If I pick the erase option, which in this case I don't want to do, it will erase the original line and only create the new one. But now I want to offset through. So I type in T for through. I select my object to offset, which is my center line. And remember before I had to type in a distance? Well, you can see here now, I can still type in that distance. So I can kind of eyeball it and say, yeah, that looks about right, you know, 80 feet or something. Or in this case, it looks like it's going to be more like 30. But that's not what I want to do. I just want to snap right to this point. I'm going to zoom in here. 
I'm going to snap to this endpoint, and there it is. So I offset this center line 30 units because I just used the through option and I put it to the current layer. Now if I offset again, if I just press enter, it'll default back to that through. Select this line, pick my other object, and there we go. Now I have my little roadway. So you can see the offset command is very useful, very quick, very easy to do. It can help you to create a lot of different things, especially if they're long parallel objects. You can offset a line, a polyline, polygon, an arc, or a circle. You can do all of those sorts of things.